Now comes a story from Martha Teichner, which can best be described as puzzling. You are about to engage in Pancake Pictionary. <laughs> We're trying to communicate with our table using only pancakes. Say what? We have to communicate to them this name, Hermione Granger from Harry Potter, without words, without spelling, just pancakes. It was January 2020, before COVID, that I met A.J. Jacobs. The puzzles come in all shapes and sizes. Overgrown kid and puzzle nerd doing research. One, two, three. Yes. Yes, research for his new book. Another fairy godmother. Isn't that with an the hair head? One more pancake if you got this. <laughs> this, believe it or not, is MIT, home of the MIT mystery hunt. The prize? A coin hidden somewhere on campus. But the prize isn't really the point. This is the, the granddaddy of all puzzle hunts. It's been going on for 40 years, and there are 2,000 people, over 50 teams. So it's like Iron Man triathlon for the brain. Silly, you say? All right, so AJ. The storyline for the 2020 hunt involved goings on at an imaginary fairy tale themed amusement park. The solution to one puzzle was a clue to the next. Hundreds of different ones. Rubbing his nose. This is part of the puzzle. You can't solve the puzzle without no, rubbing. rubbing his nose. For more than two years, I tagged along with A.J. Jacobs on his puzzling adventures, even though I'm terrible at puzzles and games. I've never played with a Rubik's Cube before in my whole life. I don't know what it means to solve it. To solve means every side is just one color. During the worst of COVID, we dropped in via Zoom. It's moving so fast, it's sort of blurry. On Daniel Rose Levine, a Rubik's Cube whiz, then 17, holder of several world's records. So timer on. You saw it. How many seconds? 47 seconds. Wow. With his feet. Okay, that goes there. AJ being AJ, he had to try this Rubik's variation, the star minx. That is messed up. He never solved it. Yep, and now it's broken. Why are you so fascinated with puzzles? Puzzles to me are all about curiosity. And curiosity, to me, is the most important human value we have. Without curiosity, we'd be nowhere. A.J. Jacobs likes slotting himself into his subject matter. For one of his books, he read the entire Encyclopedia Britannica. For another, he followed the Bible to the letter. Here I am in the great Vermont corn maze, 100% lost. So, of course, he had to attempt possibly the hardest corn maze in the country. Here is the bell of frustration, and I am frustrated. It took him nearly four and a half hours, but he made it out. So you picked up quite a cheap chess set, huh? <laughs> like a real-life Forrest Gump, amateur AJ sat down with chess grandmaster and former world champion Garry Kasparov now an outspoken critic of Vladimir Putin. I can offer many that cannot be solved by any, any grandmaster. I want to see some of those. They're talking about chess problems, super difficult counterintuitive scenarios. Studies help you to understand the geometry of the board. Right. Sometimes, you know, it's like Alice in the Wonderland. So yes, you move in one direction, but you end up in the other direction. <laughs> My book kind of covers how life imitates puzzles and problems. It's basically the same as, 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 as you learn from chess, because life is about making decisions. Simple so, as that. Yeah, exactly. Simple. Ha! These pegs, you have to turn not a hundred times, not a thousand, not a million, 1.2 decillion times. That's one with 33 digits after it. Look at this contraption, named after AJ, Jacob's Ladder. Literally impossible to solve. So why try? Well, I, that's what I love about it. It represents 
the joy of trying. It's about the journey. And to me, it's a great metaphor for what puzzles should be. That journey included a trip to see one of the most famous unsolved puzzles in the world. <laughs> it's been a long time. A kind of puzzler's holy grail. Even getting a look at it is almost impossible because it's located at CIA headquarters in Langley, Virginia. <laughs> there it is. Crypto. It's called Cryptos and involves codes. There is a solution that's kept um, sealed here. Randy Burkett is one of the CIA's historians. Part one starts at the top left on this side. This is the encrypted section. And it flows through one and two. Three, it, it falls below the rivets there. And four is at the very bottom. Since it was unveiled in 1990, three of its four sections have been solved. I've tried to memorize the first one. Between subtle shading and the absence of light lies the nuance of illusion. He misspelled illusion on purpose with a Q for the second L. Occlusion. What are the chances that this is all, at the end, a huge joke? <laughs> <laughs> that, that chance is there. It's enough to drive you crazy. This is the position of the bolts here. The puzzles A.J. Jacobs loves, they're all really complicated. As he says, just like life. It's like uh, Mount Everest, but for the mind. You know, this is <laughs> like millions of human hours of, of labor, uh, all to crack this. Uh, and in some sense, that's absurd, but in some sense, I think it's inspiring. <laughs>